Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So today we have to find out from a number how many uh, digits count. For example, let's see, I have this number 1, 2, 1 and for each and every digit I have to give the count. So let's see, 1 is coming uh, 2 times and 2 is coming only 1 time. So this is what we have to print. For example, if I'm printing 1, 1, 1, so it should give you 1 is coming 3 times like that. So we have to count the frequency of each and every digit of that particular number. Okay. So for string, we have already seen that. But for number, this is again a very famous interview question. So let's see how to solve it. It's a very simple logic. So I'll do one thing. I'll create a function. Uh, first of all, and this function, we will be passing a number. Let's see the function name that I'm going to create that uh, get a digit and uh, we will write our logic. So the logic will be simple that first we will maintain one hash map here. Okay. And then in this particular hash map, the first value that we are going to maintain that is the long value. It means that a specific number. And then I'm going to create one integer also over here that what is the frequency of that number. So both will be an integer actually. Okay. So like this, it means let's see this is uh, in one to one, this is one. And this integer, this V value is actually representing the specific the count of that particular number. So let's see this is my digital uh, digit map, whatever the name you want to give it. And this is again my hash map. That is again. Okay, now in this particular digit map, I'll start filling the values. But before that, I have to start a while loop here. And then I'll start a while loop with this number, whatever the number that we captured, it is not equal to zero. Okay, so we will start a loop until the number is becoming zero or not. And then first I'll get the last digit of the number. So how will you get the last digit? The last digit we will be using with the ampersand 10 over here like this. And let's see, I'm storing in some, this is my uh, variable that I have created over here like this. And this last uh, digit, okay, or let's make it a long over here because that's a long number. So I'll store in a long variable over here. So let's see whatever the number I'm passing, I'll capture the last digit and then I'll put a condition immediately. I'll write that okay, if it contains key method, which key that last digit that you have already captured, if it is already having, then do what? Then I'll start filling my digital map, whatever the digit map is there and I'll be writing this is the put method. And what is the key? The key is this, this last digit that this is my key. And uh, what will be the value? The value will be from this particular digit map, I'll be using the get function and uh, this digit uh, and then I'll be using uh, plus one over here, right guys? So what is happening here that if the value is already available, okay, if the value is already available in this particular digit map and that means I have to increase the occurrence of that particular uh, digit by one over here. And it's saying that it is not applicable for integer integer. So what we have to do it, we have to make one long over here because there could be a long number also. So both sides, let's see, I'm writing a long here. Okay. Now, if the element, that particular digit is uh, not available, it means again, we have to fill it. Ultimately, we have to fill in this particular digit map only. So again, I'm going to use a put over here. And in this case, I'll be writing my last uh, digit and then the value will be one only. It means only the first time it got occurred. For example, the first time is equal to a uh, one. So obviously it does not contain one over here, right? The last digit, whatever I'm talking about, this last digit one does not contain over there. It means it will go to the else part and then store it over here as a frequency of one. That's it. Okay. And then I'll do one thing, this number, whatever the number that you are getting it, which is equal to now, input number whatever that you are using and divide by 10 right it means we have to remove the last digit also from the number so what will happen we will run it as a pseudo run also don't worry about that so what will happen finally we will get this particular digit map here and when we get this particular digit map i'll just come out of this particular while loop and then i'll start printing it on the console so how will you print it this is actually a map so you can use one method that is called key set method you can use it and this key set method will return what key set matters returning the set of long. So let's see, I'll store inside the set of uh, long here. 
and I give some name. Let's see, this is my uh, keys name that I have given and import your set here because this is what you have to iterate on the basis of key set, right? This is not the order based uh, collection. So we have to use a key set method over here like this. And then I can create a for loop and the for loop I'll be writing that, okay, what type of keys you have? I have long type of keys. So I'll write it, okay, fine. That is my long key in this particular uh, keys. And I'll be writing system dot order print uh, whatever the keys that you have. Okay, let's see. This is the key that I'm going to print it on the console and then dot get and pass the key over here, right? Because this is my key. This is the actual key that, okay, we are going to print it on the console. And after that, we are getting the uh, get method and whatever the value is available. So this value will be giving the occurrence that is available in the form of integer here. Okay, so let's see it is working or not. So I'll do one thing. I'm just going to call this particular method. So let's call this method from the main method. And let's say I'm passing simple one to one initially. Okay, see this carefully one to one will be given to this guy. So number is one to one. So in this case, number is one to one. And I'll be writing let's see one to one modulus 10, which is giving you what? So it will give you one over here. So last digit is what one, because it will give you the remainder. And if this uh, one, which is already available in this particular hash map, first time it is not available. So it will go to the else part. And then inside my hash map, this last digit will be stored over here. So the hash map will be storing the values like this. Okay, so this is my uh, digit one and occurring only once, that's it. And then the number divided by 10. So number is what 121 divided by 10, which is giving you what? So which is giving you 12 only because 12.1 point one will be removed because both are integers. So 12 will be given. So now final number is what 12. Then again, it will go to the for loop. Sorry, while loop 12 is not equal to zero. Now the number is 12. Now, then again, it will check. Okay, 12 modulus 10. What is the remainder? Now the remainder is a two. It will again check. Okay, that you have two is there or not? No, we don't have two. It will go to the else part and then it will start creating the second pair. The second pair is what the two is coming only once. Right, this is the last digit two and then covering as one only. And then again, 12 divided by 10, 12 divided by 10 means it will give you only one over here. Right guys, because uh, it will give you 1.2 and 0.2 will be removed. So the number is one, one is not equal to zero. Yes, condition is again satisfied. And this time it will give you one modulus 10. So one modulus 10 will be one only. And then again, it will check it contains one is not okay in this particular map or not. Yes one is already available in this map. See this. So it will go to the first if condition and then we'll say, okay, fine. In this particular, uh, for this particular one that is already there for the same digit, what you do, you get the same digit and add plus one over here. So what exactly it will do? One plus one is equal to two. So this is the final digit map will be given. And then I'm going to iterate it. I'm just going to print it at, okay, give me the key and then give me the digit map dot key value. So simple, I'll pass one, it will give you two. If I'm passing two, it will give you one in the for loop. So when you run this program, let's see what is the output. So the output is coming as you can see that one is coming two times, which is absolutely fine. And two is coming one, right guys, two is coming only one. Okay, so let's see this. Um, I'll do one thing. Let's put a colon here. So we will get a better output. And uh, let me remove this unnecessary and let's run it again. So here you can see that, yeah, one is coming two times and two is coming only one. Then I'm writing some one, one, one. So one is coming four plus one, five times and two is coming only one time. So one is coming five times, two is coming only one time, which is absolutely fine. Then I'm going to check. Okay, fine. That give me only one. So one is uh, only coming one time. So one is coming only one time. So this is also fine. And then I'm passing some long number like that. Okay, let's see something like this I'm passing. And that's a long number. So uh, add one prefix here that is L. And uh, if I'm passing it, so it is giving you right output or not. So let's see. So first of all, nine is coming only once eight is coming two times, you can see eight is coming two times. And seven is also coming two times. Yes, seven is two times six only one time perfect five only one time three is three times. This is one, two, three and one is coming four times. So one, then two, then three, and then four. Yeah, so this is absolutely working fine here. Okay. 
now let's do one thing let's try with the 100 is it really giving you the count of zero or not so yes yes nice zero is coming two times one is coming one time okay if i'm giving 1001 in that case one is two times zero two times zero two times one two times this is absolutely working fine here like that let's see i want to test it with the number triple nine like this only the same numbers in that case what will be the output it means nine is coming and number of times like nine is coming eight times over here so this is also absolutely working fine okay so if i'm passing zero zero one so zero zero one will be actually considered as only one because bef uh, before one these two zero has no effect has no significance so that's why one is coming only one time so it will not give you zero count remember this thing this is mathematically wrong actually there is no zero zero one it's if i'm passing only single zero no it's not giving you one so zero is not considering over here see this so in that case what should i do we can put a condition here that if um, okay let's do one thing i'll put a condition that if first of all that number i'll be converting that into an string only so i'll be writing a string dot a uh, value of that number and if it is a length which is equal to equal to one it means then do what then i'll do one thing that uh, system dot r print ln whatever the number that you are passing okay and uh, plus a colon and then plus one i'll be writing it over here because that number is repeating only once okay and immediately you simple say that after that you simple return i mean return nothing no need to execute this particular logic because the number is having only one digit okay so in this case let's see is it working or not so if i'm passing zero so for zero it's saying zero is coming only once so this put uh, this just condition we can write it over here let's see if i'm passing four so in that case it should immediately tell you four is coming only once here if I'm passing some negative number, for example, let's see if I'm passing one to one, negative minus one to one, because long can handle negative integers also. So again, it is giving you minus one is coming uh, two times and minus two also it's coming one time over here. So which is actually perfectly fine. Okay, you can ignore this negative uh, minus one over here. Ultimately, it's an entire minus one to one. So that's perfectly fine. While printing it, you can ignore this negative value, but that's fine. The count is absolutely coming perfectly okay if i'm passing only minus one then it should give you whatever the number that we are capturing it we are converting into single digit and dot length equal to one so yeah so this is absolutely working fine no no there is no bug actually which is fine minus four also should give you only one so negative is not a digit guys four is the only digit so that's why it should give you one only so these are the so many test cases like that you can write it guys Okay, let me put some long negative number also. Is it really picking or not? So I'll put L over here. That's a long uh, negative number. And yeah, which is absolutely working fine. Okay, so I'm giving you an assignment. Uh, let's see who does that. You guys, what you have to do is you, you don't need to use any collection here. Collection means you don't need to use any hash map. Without hash map, you have to uh, give me the count of each and every uh, digit of a given number. Just try to do that and put it in the comment section of your solution. So thank you so much guys. Thanks for watching Navin Automation Lab. That's all for this particular video. I hope you liked it. In case if you're liking these uh, these Java videos, please uh, subscribe to the channel. There are a lot of good things are coming on this channel. Till then, take care and God bless you all.